Hello everyone, welcome back to my playthrough of Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Today we're on episode 8. Uh, we made quite a lot of progress in the last episode and I have a feeling that this might be the last episode. Just because we've only got one more soul and Abydos jewel to, to get. And we also just finished a part where we were playing Tutankhamun and now we're back playing him again. Kind of feels like it's building up to the end of the game. Um, hopefully I can squeeze it all into this last episode if we are near the end. Um, but who knows. Other than that, I will just stop rambling and hopefully you enjoy. Right, so. Okay, let's have a little explore first. Uh, so we know we can't stand directly in lava because we, we just melt, so. Um, let's have a look in this room. Okay, so we've got things that we need to burn to bring those pillars down. Um, ooh. Um, do we need to burn them? Let's just jump down for now. See what we're doing. What is this, Jim? Brings that up, okay. What's this? Oh, is that the last jewel? Six stolen average jewel, yeah, that's the last one. So we've got all of them. Okay, now we're on fire. So we can't, we can't reach that. Oh, but when the thing was up, we could. Okay, cool. Let me just go try that then. So, run so quick. So we can get ourselves set on fire. And speed back. Oh, so that means we can get back up there. Okay. Let's go see what's down here. Or up here, sorry. Ah, so we need electricity for this one. Okay. Okie dokie. So, I'll pull this. Um... We'll go get set on fire again and then go back up that way. I know we've got loads of scarab containers to burn on the way, but I can't remember what else was burnable. Oh, okay, so let's go try and burn these boxes. Okay, I just read that when you're on fire, you can walk on the lava, which I didn't know, and I don't think we've used that before, so I'm not sure how you meant to know that, but now we know, so I'm going to go do that. Okay. 
So we need to set that on fire as well. Tarnation. Okay, so if you touch those lasers, then the door closes immediately. But then I, I don't feel like I'm touching them. No, okay, they come on like just. Okay. Uh. Oh my god. Can I just crawl? No. So we've got little platforms we can get back on. Cool. Mm. Oh, we do want to be electrocuted though, don't we? Ah, okay, so we got this one. Okay. So, let's go see where that leads first. And then we will get re-electrocuted. Oh, let's just get electrocuted and then fuck it. And then we'll need to go back. I think. In fact, should we do that first? Let's do that first. Oh, I don't think we're running out of um, time to be electrocuted. So let's just go for it. So we just need to not get wet. That's basically all we need to do. Okay. 
Let's see what this does. There's a giant fan. Okay. So maybe that platform that we just unlocked goes to the, one of those rooms with the giant fan. I'm guessing. Maybe that's a di oh, it's different because it was three uh, places, wasn't there? Three bits. Okay, fine. Fine. So, go down here. Ah. Fiddlesticks. Okay. Don't we? We need to be paper thin. Okay. Because that's how we float. Makes sense. Whee! <laughs> okay. Right. So we can't go that way yet. This is the other room. Okay. So we'll go left first. <laughs> Pull this lever. The frick is that? I was just too late. Yeah, I was just too slow. Okay. What am I now? Where am I going? What do I do? That was good. I like that puzzle. Oof. Okay. Let's save. Because it looks like something big is going to happen. Ooh, this is where the ray comes from, isn't it? Maybe. Okay, so looks like there's three levers to pull. So let's do that. Hey. 
Some three point authentication going on. Okay. Crown of Oruk, wasn't it? Let's get a snack on it. Oh dear. Oh. You, you're the one who's been annoying me lately. You have the audacity to stop the ray. I'm, I may be dumbstruck as to how you've done it, but I know how it will end. Oh heck. Oh no. He will not be a problem anymore. Activate the ray again. Massa, I can activate the ray again, but no, this cannot be. The crown has disappeared. The ray can't can't be as powerful as before. No matter, it will provide enough a little protection until I find a solution. There's Basquiat, my man. He knows what's up. You got the items that the mummy collected in the castle of Ulrich. So I got a few onyx scarabs, I think. Sacred crown is there. Six stolen Abydos jewel. Yep. Outstanding work, Sphinx. You have the last two sacred crowns. You should take them to Anubis, but be warned. I sense that your quest is nearing its conclusion, and once you have departed for the final battle, there will be no turning back. If you have any unfinished business, you should take care of it before you vi visit Anubis. Good luck, Sphinx. Okay. So. Um, let's go do some bits that we won't be able to once we've got to final battle then. But we know this will be the last episode because it's the final battle. So we said that we would collect some slim burbles for that bit um near Bedouin outpost because there's a big rock there and we just need to figure out what is there the spinefish scare the crap out of me scrubs um slim burbles where were they where were they here yeah. Come on, my little dudes. Got one. I'll just get two for good measure. Oh, we didn't do this um, assault course bit that's here because we couldn't get to anything, could we? Um. So I wonder if we can now. Because I didn't see anything that you could like grab onto or whatever, but... Unless... 
Unless we need some burbles. Mm. Obviously not. Okay, I'm not sure how you get up there then. Let's, let's just go have a swim. Oh, hang on. Ah. Okay, that's probably timed. So I'm just going to go get this. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh my god, they're terrifying. Okay, I'm just going to go. well in capturing monsters as well I would say we've captured most of them that's probably the odd thing that we haven't uh, oh. Fuck. Fucking fire armadillos man okay it was here please be fire armadillos oh no it's a little secret area Ooh. Oh yes, I did see this a while ago and wondered how we got up there. Got oh, that piece. Yes, okay. And now I remember that there are fire armadillos over here. Maybe just get a few, just in case. Okay, I got two. That'll do. these little babies. Thank you. Okay. Me... Yes. I don't want to waste my fire armadillos in case I need them, so I'm not going to open that box. I can do it on the way down. Okay, so that goes... There, and then where do we go from there? Oh, is it going to be a gold lamp? My only chance. Ooh. Oh, the beetle brewing jar. Yeah, that guy said, didn't he, that if we didn't find it, he wouldn't be able to breed beetles. Okay, cool. Okay, I think it was this guy. Oh, this guy. Hmm. 
How do I give him the jar? My special beetle breeding jar, you see it went missing several days ago. If I don't get it back soon, I won't be able to breed any more beetles. I could go out of business. You look like you do plenty of travelling, so if you happen to find my beetle breeding jar, please bring it back to me. I already got it! My beetle breeding jar, I can't believe you found it. Now I'll be able to get busy building up my stock again. How can I possibly repay you? Take this loyalty card, it entitles you to half price beetles every time you visit my store. Thanks again, stranger. Nice. Oh, Beals. Okay, yeah. Great. Thank you very much. They're going to be buzzing after I give them their last stolen jewel. Might actually get paid. Might just give in the monsters first that I've got um, just in case something happens. Yes, uh, what have we not given in? Have we given a big bowl? Skeletal spider. Yeah. I mean, um, astounding, you've recovered the stolen jewel of Urius. Urius, the city can never thank you enough. Gold and peace. Thanks. So we do have another four, so we can do another ritual. The stolen jewel of Wenny. However, as a token of gratitude, yes, yeah, all right. Wonderful, that's the last one. You've restored the dignity of the city. The jewel collection means so much to us, we can never thank you enough for what you've done. You've got a gold ant piece, click yes, yes, okay. Cool, so that's it, okay. Let's do a quick scan of how many monsters we've missed and if we can collect any. So, So we're missing one there, and then we've got three empty spots here as well. I wish it would tell you what it was missing. Um, so that's four that we're missing so far. I'm trying to think what else we've encountered. Oh, there's quite a few missing here as well. Maybe I could look at a map or something of what monsters are meant to be there and then we could um, go back and see which ones we could get. Okay. I mean, we haven't done that bad then. This one is completely full, so... It's only really those ones missing. Let's go see the jewel collection then and maybe talk to the sarcophagus because she wouldn't really say much last time. So which one did we get that are new? Da -da 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 -da. This enchanted cobra headed jewel was discovered on a battlefield pr protruding from the chest of a fallen king. Used to deliver the fatal blow in a wall that left no survivors, nothing remains of the tribe who forged it. So it's. I think we've. Have we done this one? Yeah, we've read that one, I think. Let's talk to her. Thank you, thank you so much. Now that all the jewels have been returned, my conscience is finally free of guilt. You are incredible. Okay. Cool. 
Oh, we can buy some monsters as well from him, can't we, to fill the... Oh, the shell critter, that was that was one of the, uh, the ones in here. So we need to buy the rest of these. Okay. And that mummy chihuahua, I'm pretty sure I know where that is. Okay, cool. Feel. Okay, let's buy a shell critter. Yes. Did we get the shell crystal then, or did we just... Yes. Mm. Oh, we can buy right here. What else have we got? Featherless turkey. Great. We need 900 scar of these. Ridiculous. Okay. I think that's it. So, Mummy Chihuahua goes there. And then, Sunflower goes there. So, that's what we're missing from the central wing. Blade scorpions we've got. Crab hands, chihuahua, yep. Electric eel, yep, that was in there. Giant green worm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. A mummy bird, which we have to buy. A shuttlecock bird, which we also have to buy. And then a skull, uh, skull worshipper. So we haven't got a skull worshipper. So it's actually not that many, so we could try to collect those. I just need to figure out where they all are. But I'm pretty sure on the wiki page it'll tell me where to find them all. The Mummy to Hour. I'm pretty confident I know where that little fucker is. Um, Sunflower, I think, was back in like Uruk Island. So I'm not sure we can go back to that. I'll go back to where I think the Mummy to Hours are. See if I can get one of those, and then I'll see if there is a way we can go back to Auric Canyon. Yeah, Auric Canyon, okay. Hopefully you can still like, access the area. I don't think it was, um, it was like cut off after. Here they are, little shits. Ow! Vicious creatures. Oh my god, they're all on me. Oh shit. One of them is catchable, so we need to focus on catching it. Yep, sweet. Got a mummy chihuahua. So we need a skull worshipper as well, don't we? Oh my goodness. What kind of timing was that? How did we not get one of these in? I think it was through here. Oh, you little shits. here to where to though I don't know um, maybe we just jump down there I can't remember what room the sunflower was in, so I'm just going to try them all and hope for the best. Okay, it wasn't. It wasn't this one.
think it was somewhere here. Yeah, it was down here, wasn't it? There you are, you little shit. Okay. So it says. Yes. Capture the sunflower. All we've got so far. Oh, and the sunflower, sorry. Oh, I've just realised that you've now donated 30 monsters to our collection. You are a most generous benefactor to this museum and the cultural life of Abydos as a whole. Um, we'd like to express our gratitude and acknowledge your efforts with a monster hunter certificate gold class. Cool. So I think even if we get the last remaining monsters, um... It kind of makes no difference because we've already got the gold hunter certificate anyway, I think. I don't know. Who knows? Um, okay, then the last thing I'm going to do is just sell those monsters. I think if I can't afford, because then 900 scarabs each is actually like quite a lot. So um, if I can't afford any of them, I think we will just continue with the game as it is and just finish it off so I think I will go and give Anubis the last crown and we'll kind of get started with wrapping things up for this game okay let's go give Anubis the final crown you have brought the sacred crown of Heliopolis I knew that you would succeed Hmm, and you have also brought the very same set crown. Congratulations, Sphinx. This is a magnificent achievement to finally give Osiris enough power to manifest once again. Behold his mighty power and splendor. I am the light of Ra, defender of the good and innocent, enemy of shadow, and the founder of the ancient prophecy of Ra, a prophecy which is rapidly drawing to an end. I built this wall eons ago to prevent my own destruction at the hands of my brother Set. All this time, my guardian Anubis has protected the wall from Set's onslaught. Cursing the palace was necessary to protect Heliopolis, but now the inhabitants are free and the demon destroyed. You are the chosen one who has fulfilled the ancient prophecy, but the ultimate outcome of your heroic actions is uncertain. Sphinx, there is one last quest you must undertake before you truly fulfill the ancient prophecy of Ra. You must travel to the castle of Uruk and fight Set in a final battle for the crown. Anubis must stay and defend the wall. You are our only chance. I will transport you to Uruk, but you must jump into the lava. Jump into the lava? Sir, using Set's own ethereal canals to transport him to the castle. This is folly. That is much too dangerous. We have no choice. Set is getting stronger by the second. Now, Sphinx, now. Okay. Oh, and here we are. The final battle. I feel like this is uh, going to be quite short then, actually, this playthrough. This episode. Okay. Um, I don't think the shield protects us, does it? Let's quickly save. Um, there's nothing to hide behind, so... No. Okay. Uh... I 
I don't know where we hide them. Shit. Oh shit. Is that what we have to do then? We just have to blast our way through. Hope for the best. It's not going well so far, is it? So what, 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 what's this all about? Oh, well, we, we just like it? I don't know what we do. We, oh, we need a slim burble for that, maybe? Shoot. Oh, okay, no, we run to this. Down here. Ah! Babies! Some babies! Are they gonna come out? Okay, I get it. I get it. So we're gonna we're gonna blast those pillars and then use them as cover. I'm assuming. I'm going to get closer to get some more. Go, little dude. Cool. Okay, now we just need another one. Get in there. I just make a break for it now. Yes. Fabulous. Okay. Better save it. And then I'm guessing this will be transporting us to the final fight. Use the magic teleport. Yes. Go. I have been waiting for you, Sphinx, the one of prophecy. I see that my brother Osiris is not here to face me. He is too weak for such a confrontation. Or perhaps he is just too cowardly to stand against me. You have done well to thwart my plans so far, but ultimately I will control the power of the Eye of Ra. You and your undead cohort have fulfilled the prophecy thus far. Oh yes, Tutankhamun. He's still like frozen. But I will see to it that the prophecy ends with your death and Osiris being destroyed by me. Into the lava. Oh sh sugar. Pathetic creature. Osiris didn't tell you about my true form. Yeah, nice. Now the time has come for you to die. Okay. Um. Oh sh. Oh god, what the hell? Okay, I'll shoot this one. 
Him while he's yeah, smack that bitch. So we gotta look out for these because they explode actually, which I thought they were just fireballs, but ah, they explode. No, 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 no! Second hit. off. Oh. Alright. I'm ready. My body's ready. Oh, these are the long ones, aren't they? Shit, 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 shit. Oh. No, we just missed him. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh. double time on this one. Oh, so does it restart every time you miss a hit? Because now this is the first pattern that we had. Oh, I don't The next one's gonna be the like holds in the wall thing. Oh shit. Shit. Yes! We did something. I 
think we killed him. I think we did it. Oh, let's do Kaboom. Excellent thing. She saved the mummy from Set's hands. Set has been severely weakened, but it is not his destiny to be destroyed. The world cannot exist without evil, just as the light of day needs to be balanced with the darkness of night. With Set weakened, he will not be able to fight his true destiny to unite with his brother Osiris. This will restore balance to the godly kingdom. Behold, the mighty Osiris has arrived. Finally, the ancient prophecy of Ra has been fulfilled. Light and darkness are one together. We will be able to live in harmony again. Sphinx and Tutankhamun, you have both been very brave to conclude this dangerous saga. Sphinx, because of your actions and bravery, your name will go down in history and be remembered forever. Tutankhamun, I can give you the last canopic vase that will transform you back into your human shape and let you return to your kingdom. Finally! Thanks to both of you, balance will be brought to the world for many generations to come. More dangerous adventures will come in the future for both of you, but for the moment, rest and enjoy your triumph. Tutankhamun, I give you the last canopic vase with my gratitude. Yay, he can finally go back to being human. Oh. <laughs> uh. No! <laughs> Don't worry, Tutankhamun, there must be another way to change you back. Perhaps other worlds will hold the key to your salvation. We will help you find the answer. Oh, my man. He fought for so long. And that was it. Okay, well, that is the end of my playthrough of Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Um, it's been really good to revisit this game. I've really, really enjoyed playing it. I kind of forgot how good the puzzles are. They are really fun to play. I did think when I first started playing it that the graphics were going to be something that kind of distracted from the quality of the game, but I genuinely don't think that... Um, I've really noticed the, the quality um, considering at the moment I'm also playing um, in my free time and playing Hogwarts Legacy and comparing those two graphics is, is crazy but I, again I, I just don't feel like it's taking anything from the actual quality of the game um, the narrative is really good the story is good the the gameplay is good as well you know you get quite a lot of different kind of aspects of gameplay I think because you get to play Sphinx and you get to play Student Common as well and they're totally different kind of play styles is is really good it makes it a bit more interesting because you're not kind of playing the same thing over and over and I would say the intervals in which you swap are pretty uh, pretty even as well so um, yeah overall I just really enjoyed playing it I kind of wanted to start with something like this, something that I really enjoyed so I could get into it and get more comfortable. Um, but hopefully I will try and play some more sort of new and modern games. But overall, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough and thank you for watching.